welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do a review on this Fenty Beauty foundation. This is the hydrating foundation. I actually really love the soft matte foundation from Fenty Beauty so I have high hopes for this but sometimes the hydrating foundations can actually settle into your fine lines and I feel like there's a very very fine line between looking sweaty and looking dewy. So I will do a full day wear test on this. I will come back on the camera at the end of the day and see how this wore off. I do have a pretty busy day today. I will be out. It is humid out so let's see how this will perform. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and start with priming my face with Chacha Silk Canvas. And when I'm testing out a new foundation, I usually stick to the products I already know work for my skin. So this is one of those products I use all the time, so I know this works. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my T-zone. Now let's go ahead and talk about some facts about this foundation. This foundation claims that it is hydrating, medium to full coverage, long wear and light as air. Whatever your shade is on soft matte and that's the shade in your hydrating foundation. So I usually wear the shade 300 in the soft matte foundation but I did order 310 in this hydrating long wear foundation because I am a little bit tan right now so I did not want something too light for me. So let's talk a little bit about the packaging. The packaging on the old one is a glass bottle and this one's a plastic too. I do like uh, the glass bottle personally but I feel like this is more convenient when you're traveling because the glass bottles do tend to get a little heavy when you're traveling. Even though it's a tube it comes with a pump which is great. I do like pump on my foundation because it just makes life a little bit easier. So I'm going to take about two pumps of this foundation. I am going to apply this foundation using a beauty blender. It does feel hydrating too because it doesn't feel like it's drying my skin. So it feels really really nice actually on the skin. So here's a before and after. I feel like this did cover quite a bit. And here's what it looks like after two pump of foundation. I am going to build it up just a little bit because I want to see how it builds. Because I still see some imperfections peeking through. So I'm going to go ahead and build it up just a little bit. I'm going to speed through this process so you can see what I'm using. Finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I really felt like it needed to be set because wherever I was touching it was kind of coming off. But that's kind of normal for me anyways because I do set my face with the powder. So let's see how it goes. And here's the finished look you guys. So right now it's about 11 o'clock and I will check back in with you guys in a few hours to see how this wears off during the day. So far I think it looks really really good. It does feel very hydrating. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. So I do really like it so far but I will check back in a few hours and let you guys know what I think about this foundation. Hi guys. It is about 7.51 right now and I've had this foundation for about 9 hours at this point and honestly this foundation looks really good so far. I didn't actually expect it to do so well because a hydrating foundation I was like okay this is gonna break and it's gonna just show my fine lines and it's gonna show all the texture in my skin. Actually it didn't and I am actually very surprised. The only place you can see, actually let me um, zoom you guys in. Okay now that you're up close and personal I don't know if you can really see the only place that kind of just like separated or it just like settled into my fine lines right over here. Kind of right over here it's a little patchy and it's just gone off from my nose. Other than that 
honestly you guys this looks so good i have not touched up whatsoever and so i picked up my daughter from school i've gone shopping i've cooked food i've had dinner i've had lunch i'm actually very surprised i was afraid it was gonna look very sweaty but it doesn't look it like it doesn't look greasy it looks very very nice and I don't know if I mentioned it earlier when I was putting all my products on top of this foundation everything blended so nice and it just it is a really really good foundation so if you have combination skin or you have dry skin you would really really like this foundation so let me just touch up I want to see how it would look if I touched up so I'm gonna take this Becca's Hydra Mist and I'm just going to take this on my beauty blender this is the one I was using earlier so I'll just use the same one and this powder you guys this is a really good powder especially during the day. So this is what it looks like once I set this. And honestly, it feels like I just put this foundation on. I actually really, really like this foundation. So I really like this foundation. I hope you guys try it out. Don't forget, you can always go into Sephora and ask for a sample before you buy it. And try it out and see how it would look on your skin. Before I go, I wanted to tell you guys also that this lip color, I have not touched either. This lip color looks pretty good. I mean, it's come off just a little bit like on the top lip. Other than that, I have not touched it even a single bit. So I want to share that with you guys. So I was wearing this dose of color and this is in the shade Kiss of Fire. So if you're looking for a long wear lip color, I think this is really, really nice. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And that's all for today. Ciao.